everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Carol uh, today I'm going to do a swipe to try to recreate one that I had already done before on a smaller scale and I sold it so I'm going to insert the picture here now okay so that was it it was a swipe and uh, what I did it took me a few tries to get it the way I liked it okay and what I did was I used white which is my Saks heavy body acrylic which is uh, true flow and I really really like it it's economical and I use this and the same brand in black and uh, I just love it. it's nice and creamy this we have is deep turquoise and uh, again this is premier and they are the um, the equivalent of Liquitex, but it's AC Moore's brand. So this is a deep turquoise. And I have it pretty, yeah, it leaves a ribbon, pretty thick. That is the color I'm going to swipe with. Sounds crazy, maybe, I know, but. This is Thalo Blue with some white, so you can see that it's definitely lighter. This is a Liquitex Thalo Blue. Then I have this color, which is a mix of purple red from Premier, which is actually Liquitex Elysian Crimson equivalent. And then I added some Liquitex primary red because I wanted to you know, kind of lighten that, get rid of that little bit of pinkness and add a little more of a, a primary red to it. Then, oh, also in this dark turquoise, I've added a little bit of Payne's Gray just to make it a, the darken up a little bit, maybe a tablespoon if that. Then I've got Naples Yellow, which I've added maybe a tablespoon of white to lighten it up slightly. I love this yellow. It's not too bright, not too brassy. And then this is the Deep Turquoise, again, mixed with more white to get it to a lighter turquoise color so I can have a little bit of that contrast in there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my white base down. I'm not gonna make you have to watch me do that. So I will be back. All right, so let's see. What I want to do is just start, I want to, I'm going to uh, swipe it that way. So I definitely want some things to, to cause the stream looking this way. But I also want other colors running across. So... This is the phthalo blue with a little bit of white. this I don't know we'll see how this works I'm 
feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch me do this. But leave little areas. Okay, now I'll do the Alyssa Crimson mixed with Primary Red. Basically the same way. I'm not going to let there be big blotches, just, you know, a couple little spots here and there, but I'm not doing giant ribbons. So I'm really hoping that these will all come up multicolored cells and kind of spotty with a little negative background space that the dark turquoise, I hope, will become the actual background after I swipe it. If all goes as planned. This is kind of fun. Make sure that all the sides have something going on. Okay, next I'll do the lightened turquoise. I don't think I'm going to need a ton of this because the turquoise, the dark turquoise is going to hit the white and lighten up too. out there cutting the lawn for probably the last time because it's pretty uh get pretty cold out starting to anyway all right and then naples yellow probably the naples yellow will mix with the turquoise and give us a green shade too and that's okay which is why I didn't even bother mixing up a green, even though I'm hoping this looks like under the ocean because the turquoises will do it. don't know if I said it in the beginning if I did my medium is two parts glue one part water so if you're mixing up a batch a cup of glue half a cup of water makes it pretty thick I like my medium thick I like my paint on the thicker side because I don't want cells going nuts so we'll see what happens here though with the swipe I mix my medium one-to-one -one with my paint and then add water if necessary to thin it out. I added a little to my white because I was making the base. And I thinned out my, a little bit of my dark turquoise. In fact, see this? leaves a ribbon, I'm going to add a little more water to this 
because it's going to be the swipe. So if it's too thick, it's not going to move. And I just use regular bottled water. I have well water, so I don't use my tap water too much, too much lead, even though I have a water softener. So I was debating on whether to swipe with a, a damp paper towel or to use maybe a plastic um, uh, document holder thing. It's a little bit thicker and I'm thinking maybe I want that. It's all about how heavy do you want your swiping tool to lay, what, where do you have best control because you know everyone's different. So, it's whatever works for you. Okay, so this is definitely better, definitely thinner. So, let's see what happens now. I'm going to put it along here as my swipe color. I'm going to add a little bit. in here too. Okay. This is a lot of paint in here, but that's all right. Move it around a little. Oop, look at all that fell off, jeez. All right. Did I mention before I'm a slob and I make a big mess? That's why this style of art is just great for me because I make a mess no matter what I'm doing. So now I have an excuse. So Now I'm gonna swipe from the side. I'm gonna lay some paper towel down so that I can wipe my plastic off. I learned this little trick from Julie Cuts, and it's a great idea. That's why you don't have a giant, giant pile of paint mess when you swipe. So, down make sure you make contact with the swipe color and try not to pick up too much of the other stuff and then you start to pull Ugh. and I'm gonna have to re-swipe that I can tell already so but that's oh, looks like the colors are gonna be gorgeous though can't complain Use a different one here. Save time. <laughs> Let's do this part and then we'll do the reswipe where necessary. side of this guy. First I'm going to add a little more of this swipe color because obviously it's not enough. go again. Clean side of the plastic. Let's go. Oops. Get behind it exactly behind it. Okay. Rest it. And 
pull it through. Slowly. And I want to do that a little bit because it's representing water. I'm going to use the other side of this one that is clean also to grab this. Beautiful colors. Mm. So let's see. Let me do this first before the cells start to pop up so that that side runs off a bit. can take your palette knife and you can I'm going to grab a little maybe these colors grab a little of this that fell okay and I'm just going to swipe along what I'm doing here is swiping along the, the edge just a Fill it in. Because you want your sides to be swiped also. You don't want them to look different compared to the rest of it. So, being that I had white on underneath and not the swipe color itself, I have to do it like this. It's unusual because usually what you do if you're going to swipe with black, you usually have black underneath as your base and if you're putting a base. But I didn't do it that way. So let me just smooth this along so that we got the sides going good here. Basically, just swiping it just to keep it uniform here. side here. Meantime, hopefully things are starting to come up. Let me go around the side so you can hear it get this back. Side over here. So swipes are one of the things that is really good to try when you're a beginner too. Uh, this and flip and drags were the first things that I finally got to come out the way I wanted. Took a while. 
get your consistency right and and what works best for you. I started out with Floetrol as my medium. That's really a paint conditioner, Floetrol, and it really uh, keeps your paint from drying too fast. That's really what it's for. But used as a medium, it thins it out some, makes it pourable, and it's, you know, wonderful, but I don't like that it just gives me a ton of cells. I feel like I don't have control. So I stopped using Floetrol, moved to glue and water. Sometimes I'll put a little Liquitex medium or something like that added in there, but it's always glue and water, not the Floetrol. And that has been the world of difference. I felt like I feel like I have more control. I mean, let's face it, this is not uh, something you can necessarily control, this style painting, but if you can get some control, that's great. All right, I think this is pretty good. Time to torch it. Well, let's do this just just to give it a little bit of a movement. Now that I've fixed the sides. Plus I don't mind it being a little wavy, like I said, because it is supposed to be underwater. It's my whole plan. see. Hopefully I'm in view. Now we'll try the uh, torch. Let's see what happens here. I'm not going to get too close because I don't want it to be nuts, but I don't mind some small cells, but I really want some background to be there so that it looks very 3D. See. I always do my paint a little thicker so it takes a little longer for the silicone to heat up and rise. But that's okay. Let's see what we could bring up. Then we'll stop a minute and let it grow. Hopefully. Takes a little while. I'm probably torching more than some do. But like I said, I am working with a thicker, a thicker mix. Don't forget your size. Things are starting to come up now. I 
Remember, I didn't put any silicone in the swipe color because I want things to come through it, not necessarily have that dark color come up with a whole bunch of uh, cells. Fewer, okay, like right here. We got a little bit coming up. Sides are all coming up really pretty. The, probably the paint is thinner there. Getting little, little cells coming up, so I'm gonna have to let it sit a bit and then I'm going to tilt again just to have them spread a bit and get a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm gonna wait a second and let them grow. Okay, excuse that overhead light. I don't know if, if I turn it off, if that's going to help at all. I'll try it in a minute. But first, let's look at this. See all these really beautiful, look at these multicolored cells coming up in shape. So beautiful. That's what I love. Colors within colors. Some are subtle, some are not so subtle. Wow. And uh, I did get uh, some greenish from the Naples yellow, but it still held its own. There's still some yellow popping through. Look at that. Look at those beautiful colors all together. Ugh. Just gorgeous. And then it just looks like a big alien sea full of creatures. That's what I think. Oh, there you go. So I'll let you see it when it's dry. And I think we're good, so please subscribe to my channel, uh, like the video if you like it, uh, visit my Etsy store, that link is down 
in the description along with the description of the colors, also about the original music clip that I use. Uh, friends of ours, my husband had a recording studio for years so we got to meet lots of really good musicians. And uh, they did this beautiful song that I've always loved called Elements, so I asked permission to use it uh, for my intro and also for my sped up videos, and they said, sure. So that's what that's about. I'll have that info in the uh, description also with uh, everything else you're gonna need. And also I have a Cosmic Carol Creations Facebook page where you'll get some more updates as things happen if you wanna join that too. Okay, so see you next time, and have a great day.